Now we're going to um, look at a past paper question involving complex roots. And we're sort of doing the inverse de moives here. So it's asked us to solve, uh, solve z to the 4 equals minus k squared i. Now before we can find any roots, we've got to get that into, com into polar form. Now if we're going to look on the argand diagram, minus 4k squared i sits here if that's your imaginary axis. So what that means is uh, r, which is the distance from the origin, is 4k squared. And theta, which is your argument, which is from the positive side of the x-axis, theta is going to be 3 pi over 2 because each quadrant is pi by 2. So in polar form, what we're looking at is z to the 4 equals 4k squared cis 3 pi by 2. Now our first solution comes from taking the fourth root of 4k squared, so that's 4k squared to the quarter, and you divide by the power, so that becomes 3 pi by 8. 3 pi by 2 divided by 4 becomes 3 pi by 8. We could simplify that up a bit, so if we square root the fourth root is square root and square again. If we square root 4k squared, we're going to get 2k. So this is going to end up being the square root of 2k. And cis 3 pi by 8. Now we know there are four roots. And we know they're spread evenly around the argand diagram, so each root is 2 pi over 4 radians apart. But because our argument has a at the bottom, let's find that that's the same as 4 pi over 8. So we know our next root is going to be root 2k, cis, now we're, now we're going to do 3 pi over, sorry, 3 pi over 8 plus 4 pi over 8. So it becomes root 2k cis 7 pi over 8. The third root, remember the modulus always stays the same. And this time we're going to have 7 pi over 8 plus 4 pi over 8, which gives us 11 pi over 8. And finally, the fourth root, because the power is z to the 4, we know there's four roots. Modulus stays the same. Cis, and now we've got 11 pi over 8 plus 4 pi over 8 becomes 15 pi over 8. And there are our four solutions.